Hi, I'm Amy from the Altice store. We're here at Altice's seventh annual installer conference, and I'm here with Ken from Primus, and we're talking about the air family of their wind turbines. Hello. Hi, Amy. Hi Great there. to be here nice, with you. Nice to have you. In so, this beautiful Devon's Common Altice event. It's nice 2018. here. 2018. Can you believe it? I know. <laughs> so um, we're going to talk just a bit of overview about your wind turbines. Great. I'm so, excited to do that. Yeah. Why don't you, so, you show me what you got? Here we have uh, one of our turbines, the Air Breeze. Uh, but all of our turbines are DC battery charging turbines. So that means we only produce DC power coming down tower through uh, the, the pipe here. We can produce 12, 24, or 48 volt DC. Um, and that is done with this turbine 1.2 meter rotor diameter, 46, 46 inch blade set. All of our turbines are the same rotor diameter, 46 okay. inches. Um, the difference is, and we can talk in a later video about the differences between the blade sets. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is our standard blade set. It's an injection molded plastic and fiberglass blade set. And this is uh, the general configuration of our turbines. All of our turbines are small, what we call micro turbines. Yeah. 13 pounds, 1.2 meter rotor diameter, as I mentioned before. They're upwind horizontal access turbines, Amy. Mm -hmm. So what that means is the wind direction is this way, yep. hits the nose cone, the blade set, then it hits the tail, yep. and as the wind direction changes, the tail keeps the turbine on the wind. Nice. And so they're also uh, what we call horizontal access, meaning the axis of rotation is in a horizontal axis, so right. they rotate that way. Um, and then they're also able to yaw or spin 360 degrees to stay, as we say, on the wind. Nice. So different turbines have uh, for different wind applications and different needs for sound. Some applications, like a cruising sailboat, yep. will want a very low sound. Yep. Some applications, like oil and gas, telecom, remote applications, yeah. offshore buoy applications, they don't care about sound, right. so they use a different blade set. Right. Again, I can I can refer to that. Yeah, and you, and you said that you can do 12, 24, or 48. It's not one turbine that that's like switch configurable. You have to specify when you're buying it what your battery bank is going to be. Absolutely correct. Good point, Amy. Uh, the turbine is voltage specific. Yes. So if your battery bank is a 24 volt battery bank, you buy a 24 volt right. turbine. The turbine will not operate unless you see unless it sees mm. battery voltage. Okay. So that's what this circuit card right here does. Yep. Is that circuit card does all the controls. So that's the up tower controls of the turbine. There is no down tower controller like you have in solar. Right. Uh, it's all up tower in the body of the turbine yep. called the nacelle. So what's outputted is uh, DC amps. Great. Great. And um, and so you're going to make sure that you you're sizing your wire correctly to, based on uh, the distances that you're going and voltage drop and everything. We can talk about a lot of that stuff another time as well. Right. But what's the most important thing, Amy, is when you're looking at a customer wanting to buy a wind turbine, is you want to know their wind resource. Right. Most importantly, find out their wind resource. Yep. And well, how do you find out the wind resource? Well, you can contact your Alt E representative and say, hey, I'm looking at this site, provide right. the address, decimal data coordinates, GPS coordinates yep. of the site to your Alti representative. They'll send them to us, right. and then we will provide you with a wind resource assessment of that site. Right. If the site is not four meters per second or greater yeah. of winter wind speed, add more solar. Right, right, right. <laughs> if it's greater than four meters per second, then wind is a good option yep. in yep. a hybrid system. All of our systems are hybrid systems, meaning you're combining solar and wind right. together. They work really well together. They complement one yeah. another. Yeah. Because in the winter months, when you have a lot less solar, you have a lot more wind. Right. And to set expectations right, this is not going to power an entire house. No, these are small off-grid systems. Right. We're talking about small cabins. If you have a little bigger system, you might want to add two turbines. Yep. Sometimes we see three, four. Yep. Sometimes you add them together because they're so inexpensive. Right. Retail on the Alti site, you're talking about you know $860 or so for a land turbine. Right. So they're very inexpensive, easy way to incorporate into an existing solar right. system. Right. Right. Nice. Thank you very much. And so um, it's as you said, it's got the control in in the the nasal and. So that manages it separately from the solar. So you're going to have a solar charge controller managing your solar. You're going to have the wind controller controlling the, the wind. Yep. So they'll play nicely together. Two autonomous systems yep. working yep. together in harmony. Beautiful. Hi. 
How lovely. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm Amy at the LG store with, with Ken from Primus, and I uh, hope you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to go to our website at altstore.com, where we've been making renewable doables since 1999.